Hello! The tutorial you're about to watch is a part of a course called Arduino Zero to Hero. Link is in the first line of the description for much more 52 lectures and everything you need to master Arduino. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial we are going to be turning on this LED light and controlling it via a push button. Actually you can see that on the circuit view right there. So a couple of things we need to know before we get started. Our first goal is to have a look at how a breadboard works and have a think about how we can add power to the breadboard. You see these blue and red rails, they are consisted of these slots which are all connected. So we simply need to take a uh, cable and connect one to the blue rail and one to the red rail. So red rail first. Red rail is going to need to go, I can put it anywhere in the red rail, and it's going to need to go into 5 volts. Now I happen to know it's in the fourth port here. I don't know if you have enough light to read 5 volts on there. I don't think you do actually. And the G and D is going to go into the G and D port right here and into the blue rail over there. So as you can see it can go anywhere but I'm just going to put it in the end to make it appear neat. Now next up I'm going to get my LED and point your attention actually do you see the two legs one's longer one is shorter. You want to take the longer leg and bend it and then straighten it so that it looks like that. And then you take the longer leg, maybe just put it in a row and make sure the longer leg is facing the red rail. So the way we connect this LED, firstly we're going to do it wrongly, will be just to take say that negative. Dun, dun, dun. Let me move the camera a bit. So the blue rail is there. In fact, I can use these. These are like short wires. They look better on the camera. They make it more clear. So I can just take one of these and connect it. So Now the short leg of the LED is connected and if we connect the long leg to the red we are going to see some fireworks because actually there's going to be a bit too much current for the LED. In fact it's already burnt and I don't know if you can tell if we turn it, ooh, it's kind of smoking. If we turn it sideways and if you have a look, you see there's a bit of black in this LED. The reason I did that is for you guys to avoid ever powering an LED without a resistor. So there should be a new one where that one came from. There it is. Fold the leg again. And this time, instead of using a cable, we're going to use a resistor. So this is from the DF Robot kit. It is a 220 ohm, but any anyone up to maybe 600 is going to work reasonably well. But 220 makes it pretty bright. There it is. Bright red LED. So what now? We're going to have a look at how this button works. We're just going to place it down over here so that it goes sort of across the bridge of this breadboard. It's right in there. And have a look at the button info card. Button. So the way that it works is that right across um, the two pins up top, let me try to point them out. I'll use this cable. This pin right here, in fact, Let's switch to the breadboard view. So this pin right here and this pin connect when the button is pushed, but this one and that one are permanently connected. These two up top and these two at the bottom right here. So 
What we're going to try to do is make it so that this, this line that goes from the blue into the LED gets interrupted by the button. So I'm just going to go from blue rail into one leg of the button right there and then from the other leg of the button into the LED. So I think the other leg is in number six. Maybe I'll use a shorter wire. From one to six. There it is. So right now when we push the button, there you go. And actually, I'll use a cable for this one. It would have also worked if we went across this way. So we connect it across this way. This would also work. And if it was across this way, it would be permanently on. So essentially, every time we build a button circuit, we can connect it two different ways. And the one that I just did, I think, is the neatest. So maybe just to sort of visually represent it better, I could park that in there. And that would be... Dun, 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 pull that down. Get the camera in a bit better of an angle. There it is. The LED pulls back. And... There you have it. That is the button LED circuit. Now, I would like you to pause right here. And I will give you a challenge. The challenge is as follows. The F-Robot kit has a number of LEDs, some of which I've already burnt. Your challenge is to turn on five at once with just one button using everything you've learned so far. The only limitation to your challenge is that you can't have LEDs share a leg. So you can't have two LEDs sort of entering one hole in the breadboard. So have fun with that and pause the video right now if you don't want to see the solution quite yet. Okay. So here is the solution. We are going to use the button to power one of the rails. We can either make it the blue rail or the red rail. If I just do it here right now, this button is going to turn on the blue rail. And if I take any number of LEDs and place them into the blue rail like this. Then you would need just to connect these LEDs to a resistor and the red rail and they would be powered. So I got five in there. So I would need five resistors in theory. So one, two, three, four. There are some right here. So if one works, they're all going to work. So if I go from here to the red and I press it, it's on. So I do the same thing. And I think I need one more.
there you have it. The trick was entirely, maybe I should pull this out because it does nothing. Right now, the blue rail is only connected when the button is pressed. If this minus was where it normally should be inside the minus, they would permanently be connected. But now, the minus only connects when the button is pushed. As you've seen the way the button works, we could have the minus in number six as well. Okay, there you have it. See you in the next tutorial.